We want to say thank you to Cozy Earth for sponsoring today's video. We absolutely love them. Cozy Earth is a premium loungewear and bedding company. We love their sheets, duvet covers, the loungewear, pajamas. We absolutely love them all. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is their robe. I get ready in it every single morning. It's like it is so soft. Smooth like butter. And I think the best part is because it's made out of bamboo and viscose, it doesn't like pill or anything. So you wash yeah. it and I it gets softer. softer. It just gets softer. Mother's Day is coming up. This is the top of my list. And it's always Oprah's favorite thing. So oh, yes. Just you get a robe. You get yes. a robe. You get a robe. <laughs> I gave pretty much everyone in my family cozy earth sheets for Christmas last mm -hmm. year. My mom has already bought another pair because she's yes. like, when those are in the wash, I don't want to use any of my other sheets. Did she win best gift giver? Yeah. Okay. And it was unfortunate. <laughs> but how can I compete with cozy earth? Okay, if you want to get or give cozy, especially with Mother's Day coming up, use the link in the description. Use my code Cassie40 for 40% 40 off your cozy earth purchase. You will not regret it. I prom prom. Okay, let's go to bed. I mean, let's watch a show. Okay, bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank Woo. you so much for being here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank Me you and Carly so have been on a roll lately. She's rolling, leaving for work. Rolling, rolling. So okay. we are like, I'm on a mood. <laughs> <laughs> we are watch like this is third our third night, night in a row, in a row. which we don't usually do, which is mm -hmm. kind of fun. Yeah, here we are. So tonight we are watching Crimson Tide, which is like Crimson a, Tide. That's like a intense name. It's yeah. got a lot to live yes. up to. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Crimson, the deep red yeah. tide. I don't know what's coming. So oh, is it like the blood? Oh. You kind of feel like that. I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking tide Dang like it. water because it's about. But it like comes in like a wave. It's like a wave. A like, blood wave? No, no, no. But just like a lot of people dying. Oh, uh, could. Dang it. I hope not. So we had a poll on Patreon for War Movie Wednesday. Mm -hmm. First place was Good Morning Vietnam. Where do you know that from? Full House. No. Gilmore Girls, Paris Geller. <laughs> oh. God. <laughs> and so I watched that. There's a reaction to that. Go check it out. I Go just made me want to watch every Robin Williams movie there is. Oh. Yeah, he, he was in a war movie? Kind of. I can't picture that. Like a war comedy. If oh, you okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And so this was the runner up and I've wanted to watch this one for a long time. So. We might as well. Yeah. When I, I thought Crimson Tide was the name of those like the bad people in Star Wars in the new Star Wars. So maybe these guys did it first, but I know that Denzel Washington is in this. Oh, we love Denzel. Have you, have, I don't think we've watched a Denzel movie. No, not together, no. I've only watched like one on the channel, I think, Glory, mm -hmm. which is a crime because he's so he's good. so great. Like, yeah. so good. And then it's Gene Hackman, who is also amazing. I just love Sorry, him as Jane. the coach from The Replacements, but he was also in. He oh, was again. the mean guy in Unforgiven. He's been in something else. I think you watched I'm him. Zero for two. But I cannot remember. But those are like two like all-star gotcha. Hollywood guys. Okay, so so I think it's going to be good. Things. And it's on a submarine, I believe. Oh, you love that submarine <laughs> movie. No. Yeah. I know. I'm kidding. Because you feel claustrophobic, even though you're not on the submarine. Yeah. <laughs> Are you claustrophobic? Are you not? No, I'm not. Like zero. I would say zero. <laughs> the other day I was driving to a park and it was there was so much traffic and there's so many people and I was like, can I feel claustrophobic in this traffic? <laughs> yeah, you can. I think I told and you that sometimes that, I feel claustrophobic like when I can't like unzip my zipper. Oh, yeah. Like I immediately start yeah, panicking. Yeah, I was like, I was like, this traffic! And I think I was in a hurry and I was like, ah! Anyways, we got to the park, everything was fine. But like, you think like, if I locked you in that closet right there. Well, I wouldn't like it. I know, but you <laughs> wouldn't like have a panic attack. No. Do I have water? Do I have food? But no, I like I just locked body. you in there for like, I'm saying I'm gonna lock you in there for an hour. I think it's weird, but I would be okay. That is mind blowing to me. Yeah, I'd be okay. I might be dead when you came back to get me. Well, like a heart attack or something, I don't know. You just take some deep breaths. Just <laughs> into the nose, into the mouth. Uh, meditate to the voice of, who did I say I wanted to meditate? Oh, Kevin Costner. Oh, I yeah, meditate you, you would love like that. Mm -hmm. If he's in the call map. Ooh. <laughs> if he's not, he should be. 
Anyways, okay, okay. Cooking Tide. <laughs> wow, how long has this been? Okay. All right, here like we go. and subscribe here, Patreon here. Swing about a bell. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Denzel, Denzel. I feel like, he, what have we watched? Okay, the three most powerful men in the world. The President of the United States, the President of the Russian Republic, and Captain of a U.S. nuclear missile submarine. Okay. The Russian President ordered massive bombing strikes against rebel positions, called at the loss of human life. President of the United States, joined by the French President and the British Prime Minister, suspended all foreign aid to Russia. He called on the Russian people to join him in revolt. as a state of civil war. Oh my gosh. And a crisis which started in the Caucasus has now spread to the Far East and appears to be turning into the worst standoff since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh wow. I... This must be based on a true story. Yeah, it looks like, like real footage. Yeah, well, even if it's a war movie, yeah. I don't think it would just be made up. Yeah, that's true. Russian ultra-nationalist leader, backed by his rebel army, threatened nuclear attack on the United States and Japan. Threats come as a response to the United States' involvement in Chechnya. This is hitting a little close to home. No. At the time? Good. Because if you believe in magic, you can... Do you remember him? No. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Young Denzel, though. Yeah. Dang. Can you imagine, no. like, being the wife of someone... Like, you'd watch the news and it would me be so much more devastating for you because you know that your husband's mm -hmm. gonna have to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so just... true. Two on boomers, one is XO. You recognize him? A year at... Mm, give me a second. Excuse me, Harvard. Kinda. My exo has appendicitis. I need a good man to fill his spot. Your name was at the top of the list. It was a short list. <laughs> Your interest, Mr. Hunter, what do you like to do? Ride horses. What's the best horse you ever rode? Arabian, sir. They're not too different from high school girls. They might not have a brain in their head, but they do know all the boys want to fuck them. Okay. Hey. Welcome aboard the Alabama, son. Congratulations, Mr. Hunter. Thank you. One... A Russian citizen is killed, then I will kill 900,000 of the people who are responsible. Uh, maybe we don't put that guy in charge? Yeah. Now, I've heard people talk. I don't think this man's talking just to get his picture in the paper. He seems to have a serious weed up his ass and a legitimate gripe. That's <laughs> so why we have to go out there and give the man a moment of pause. They've seized the region by the Chinese and North Korea borders. Now, the Russian government has assured us that talks are underway. They claim that Rashinko Ford Forces do not possess the launch codes. But if Rachinko were to crack them, it could launch against our West Coast direct or come in over the pole, take out Washington and New York. My gosh. We've been ordered to get underway at 0600 hours. Please keep your men informed. Oh my gosh. Okay. These. Do you remember? Just different oh, because, like, it's so real. And, yeah. Do you remember hearing about any of this? Like, because they showed Clinton as president. This would yeah. have been, like, when we were younger. Mm hmm. Was yeah, it Clinton? Because they said the girl was born in 1990. Right. And she looked like five, six, yeah. And what? That's Ed Harris. Do you know him? I don't know. I think that's him. How you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Address me as sir when you speak to me. Stand at attention, sailor. Who played the German sub commander in the enemy below with Robert Mitchell? Sir. Wrong answer. Drop down and give me 20. Is he being serious? I don't know. I'm worried about you. Oh. I'll take care of her. You promise? I promise. Oh, this is just the sweetest little family. I love you too, son. Oh, oh gosh. Just say goodbye. See you in my dreams. Give me a kiss. Oh, oh man. Yeah, this, this is like been doom and gloom. Yeah. There's trouble in Russia, so they called us. And we're going over there and bringing the most lethal killing machine ever devised. I expect and demand your very best. More firepower than ever? That's like, I mean, this is after World War yeah. II, so after yeah. the nuclear bombs on Japan. Wow. And what is that name, Mr. Cobb? Alabama, sir. And what do we say? Alabama. 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 
I liked that. Go, Bama, roll, tag. I have like inspiring goosebumps. I know, me too. I'm like stressed already. Yeah. Because this, we're five minutes in. And yeah, and I'm, I think the captain might be a little power uh, trippy. Um, I mean, you kind of have to be, right? If true. You're in his true. position and all you've like. His career has been in war. Last breath of polluted air for the next 65 days. Gonna miss it. Dang. They're going under for 65 days? Probably. Holy. That is insane. If you want your own boat someday, the very worst thing you can do is worry about yourself or try to impress me. I can't stand save asses and I won't abide kiss asses. Keep your priorities straight, your mission, and your men. I feel like that's his MO already. He's like... Prepare to dive. It's just so crazy. You have to have a lot of trust in your team that everyone does, does their part. Oh gosh. On the one MC, dive, dive. Oh my gosh, anytime a men's choir is singing, it's immediately <laughs> like so intense. My heart is pounding wow. just thinking about this. It's like kind of incredible. It like looks like an animal going under. Yeah. You know? Like it's just. <gasps> And yeah, hundreds of people in that boat, probably? Yeah. Hundreds? A mm, hundred, uh, perhaps? Maybe mm, 40. Yeah. Okay, 21st of October, day one. Rachenko is a fanatic, okay? Somebody cool. should just step up and shoot him. Well, it's fanatics who make history. He's a dangerous lunatic, and he's threatening nuclear war, and he means it. You think it was a mistake, Mr. Hunter? Sir? Using the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh, whoa. That's putting someone on the spot. Well, if I thought that, sir, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Interesting way you put that. How'd I put it, sir? Very carefully. <laughs> I don't mean to suggest that you're indecisive, Mr. Hunter. Not at all. Just, um, complicated. That's the way the Navy wants you. Me, they want it simple. Rick Over gave me my command, a checklist, a target, and a button to push. All I had to know is how to push it. They tell me when. They seem to want you to know why. I feel like he's trying to trick him into something, but yeah. The purpose of war is is to serve a political end, but the true nature of war is to serve itself. The sailor most likely to win the war is the one most willing to part company with the politicians. That's what Clausewitz was trying to say. But you wouldn't agree with it? No, sir. I, I, I just think that in the nuclear world, true enemy can't be destroyed. Von Clausewitz will now tell us exactly who the real enemy is. In my humble opinion, in the nuclear world, the true enemy is war itself. I agree with that. Me too. Like it's the nuclear weapons. Yeah. That they even exist. Well, and that we go to war. Yeah. Like one the... war would just be complete destruction for the world. Right. Like exactly. a nuclear world war. Yeah. Also, I feel like I feel like smoking in this like very enclosed I know. space. I'm like, where are they getting the fresh air from? Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. That can't be good. Oh, he's just running, like, for exercise, like, Yeah, think. okay. Oh my gosh! That got out of hand quickly! Oh my gosh. <gasps> he's running through fire. Oh my gosh, you're in this like steel. Wow, this is insane. Con radio, we are receiving flash traffic, emergency action message. Recommend alert one. Alert one, alert one, man battle stations, missile for weapon systems readiness test. Oh, okay. oh, already? Where's the XO? He's just saving the whole ship. Set condition one, SQ for WSRT. This is the captain, this is an exercise. Captain, that fire in the galley could still no, flare at the time. Make your depth one five zero feet. It's gonna be a bad thing when there's one like guy in charge who won't really take consideration from anyone else. All so just making sure that like, the fire Radio didn't. For long. Hey, we know him. Come on, guys, let's go. Um, yeah, everything just works, and that they're like on top of things, I guess. Control, sick bay. Chief Petty Officer Marichek is going cardiac arrest. <gasps> We've received word that one of our shipmates is experiencing a medical problem. We're terminating the drill. Clear. <gasps> From the fire? Clear. I think so. It is crushing. Oh my oh, gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh gosh. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? 
You think I was wrong to run that drill? Not necessarily, sir. Do you think I got that man killed? No, sir. Would you have run the drill? No, sir, I wouldn't. Fire in the galley could have flared back up. I would have seen to it first, sir. Me, on the other hand, I tend to think that that's the best time to run a drill. Confusion on the ship is nothing to fear. You don't just fight battles when everything is hunky-dory. What'd you think, son? I was just some crazy old coot putting everyone in harm's way as I yelled, yee That was not my first thought, sir. But there's no excuse. At the time I was fighting the fire in the galley, I did not agree with your calls. I like that he's not like a yes man. Me too. And he told him too. He's like, don't disagree with me. Yeah. He told him not to be a kiss butt. Those sailors out there are just boys. Boys who are training to do a terrible and unthinkable thing. If that ever occurs, the only reassurance they'll have that they're doing the proper thing is going to derive from their unqualified belief in the unified chain of command. We don't question each other's motives. We're here to preserve democracy, not to practice it. Interesting. By the way, it was Marajek's 300 pounds that killed him, not the fire. Is he saying he went into cardiac arrest because he was overweight? I mean, he could have had like a heart attack or something, right? I think it's yeah. just like a higher risk. Make any sense to you to start a drill in the middle of a fire? Uh -oh. Fire is out, wasn't it? Yeah, and a man died too. Fire is a serious threat to the ship. Now, where was it? Why didn't he check it out first, huh? That's his style. I'm just saying, watch out. Give him a little room. Let him get to know you. Con radio receiving emergency action message recommended. Oh man, I get like. <sighs> Captain has asked me what? The only safeguard was that the Russian government control the launch codes. Intel now indicates that those launch codes have been compromised. And U.S. military forces have been directed to set DEFCON 3. So this is what it's all about, gentlemen. It's what we train for. Should our satellites detect rebel missiles being fueled, which means they could be launched in just over one hour, we'll be compelled to act. <sighs> It seems clear that our friends in the Pentagon are setting us up for a potential preemptive strike. Whoa. Yeah. I feel like the dog is gonna have some, I don't know, he's gonna play a part in the story. Oh, yeah. Because they keep showing him, maybe not. It's... Feels like the whole crew needs a kick in the ass. Or a pat on the back, sir. I think the men are a little on edge with all we're going through. Morale seems to be a bit low. You seem to have the pulse of the men. He's not saying it like it's a good thing. No. Oh, he's gonna do exactly opposite. No. Mr. Hunter has brought it to my attention. Oh, the boy. morale may be a bit low. That you may be a bit on edge. On edge. Is he gonna throw him under the bus right now? So I suggest this. Any crew member who feels he can't handle the situation can leave the ship right now. <laughs> Very inspiring, sir. Remember when he gave him a speech about being like, don't go against me, I won't correct you, you don't yeah. correct me, and it's like, oh, Yeah. I feel like I that guy he... wishes he didn't have to have a commanding officer that he could just do all of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Con sonar, we have a possible submerged submarine bearing 047. Big tubes one and four, fully ready. Big tubes one and four, fully ready. I... I feel like my cortisol levels are gonna be I in overdrive. I just like keep having waves of anxiety with all the beeping and the running and the. Radio receiving emergency action message. Recommend alert one. Recommend alert one. Incoming Russian missiles being fueled. Message. Hmm? Russian missiles being fueled. <gasps> they said if they actually read that. It's pretty good eyes, Cass. Like they're gonna launch now? Yeah. Right now? Well, they. Right? They said if they find it, them being fueled, mm -hmm. they would. And they do the preemptive strike. So you capped this missile key? Are we doing this? Oh, I really hope we stop right before. The release of nuclear weapons has been authorized. <gasps> Holy cow. Yeah. I just like, no, it's too soon. Like, not yet. Right. Plus, they're, I really they hope about to hit another sub or something. Yes, yeah, so they're going down. I hope Soup figures out who the other missile is and then something's sorted out and it'll be okay. Sir, we have this classification. Sir, uh, the master two eight is classified as a Russian Akula class hunter killer. He's close, but I don't think he spotted us. Well, if they can spot him, they don't think the Russians can right. spot them. Five degree down bubble. Rigging for ultra quiet, sir. Oh my gosh, I feel like they're putting themselves in a lot of danger too, going that low. Are they? I feel like yeah. I oh eight thirty seven. Yeah, because really, well, they were at one hundred fifty, and now they went yeah. down to eight. Oh, five, right? We know that Rachenko controls at least four submarines. This could be one of them. They will have launch capability 
in 60 minutes. So I have orders to launch our missiles, which is exactly what we're going to do. Passing 900 feet. <gasps> He's gone. He's up there. Another emergency message. Incoming EM on the broadcast, but we're too deep to receive any radio communication, sir. And, oh my gosh. What if it was like, don't, don't do launch. it? Yeah. When our missile system is ready, it is my intention to rise to launch depth, launch our birds, and then get the hell out of there. Not until then. I can't jeopardize the safety of this ship. May I suggest that we float the buoy so we have enough cable to give us enough reach to receive the EAM transmission? Very well, float the buoy. Oh, I'm nervous. Me too. Con Sonar, we have a sound short from the buoy winch! Not the goddamn winch. You have a sound something? So that the other sub might hear? Sounds gone, sir. And then maybe they're getting the sound from the radio? I don't know. You're getting something. What's turning? I don't know. So he's <gasps> coming around. Con Sonar, the Akul is turning towards, sir! <gasps> Two, four, two. So that ship is firing at them. Yes. Alarm. 500 yards, bearing zero. Oh, come on. It's going to miss them, right? They went really deep. Launch a five inch evasion device. Launch your countermeasures. Come on, come on, come on. So that the missiles. Is it like hit. Top Gun where like, there's like flares almost and like maybe they'll take them? <sighs> go over top, go over top. So the first torpedo's going after the countermeasures. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, miss! Oh my gosh. Oh, but the oh, aftermath. I'm so, uh, we lost him, sir. Well, keep looking. He's out there looking for us. His missile system's ready to launch in six minutes. Oh my gosh. That's it? Uh huh. It's incomplete, sir. We lost it when the radio buoy cable got severed. What does it say? Nuclear missile on. And then it just stops. Couldn't get the rest. Zero bubble. I'm slow and silent to launch oh them. Oh boy. So they're going up to launch. But they should be able to get the EAM if they go up there, right? Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But then will they be able to, like, counteract it no matter the message? Sir, this is an EAM pertaining to nuclear missile. No, Mr. Hunter. That's a message fragment. Exactly why we need to confirm, sir. We have orders in hand. And those orders to make a preemptive launch. You know as well as I do that any launch order received without authentication is no order at all. It's hard because they're both right. I know. They have satellites looking down on us to see if our birds are aloft. And if they're not, then they give our orders to somebody else. That's why we maintain more than one sub. It's what they call redundancy. All I'm saying... I because yeah, you want to second guess right. nuclear missiles. Well, because if but, what if what if those people weren't actually fueling, then they launch a nuclear right, weapon and then it right. goes full blown nuclear war yes. when it all could have been avoided. Or he's right. Right. And then they're not. And first. it's like, hey, can you actually go faster? Because they're quicker than we thought. We can play these games all night, Mr. Hunter, but I don't have the luxury of your presumptions. I've made a decision. I'm captain of this boat. Now shut the fuck up! I don't know what this message means. Our target package could have changed. You repeat this order or I'll find somebody who will. Can he do that? Cobb, <laughs> arrest this man Captain and get him out of here! Under operating procedures <sighs> nuclear weapons, we cannot launch our missiles unless both you and I agree. Cobb, what are you waiting for? It requires my assent. I do not give it. And furthermore, you continue upon this course and insist upon this launch without the Captain Commanding Officer in command. of the USS Alabama. Regulations I order you! Eight. Under arrest on the charge of Navy regulations. I say again. Leave. Holy crap. Captain, please, the XO is right. We can't launch unless he concurs. It's why chain of commands exist. They're fueling their missiles. We don't have time to fuck around. I think you need time to think this over. I don't have to think this over. Captain, I relieve you of your command of this ship. I'm assuming command. You're not assuming anything. Captain Ramsey's under arrest. Lock him in his stateroom. So he can do that, but the other one can't? This is going to make him, like... His pride got hurt, which to him I feel like is the ultimate. He's gonna rage. Come on, come on, man. Maybe he'll do okay. You're not ready to make tough decisions yet. Anybody here disagrees with what I've done? And you feel free to relieve yourself of duty now. Oh my gosh. It's an impossible situation. Mm -hmm. This is the executive officer. I have assumed command of this ship. I've been wondering what EXO means this whole time. Executive officer. It's my intention to delay the missile launch, maintaining our current state of readiness, and in confirmation of an emergency action message that was cut off during the attack. Carry on. That's 
a lot too. Mm -hmm. Like there's locked the captain in there. Thank you, cop. Fuck you. Mr. Hunter, I'm not on your side. The captain can't just replace you at will. That was completely improper. It's hard because he could be wrong. I know. Mr. Zimmer, get those communications back online now. Are you ready? Uh, ready. Go. Oh, shoot. So the whole, like, system's down. We're going up? Oh, my gosh. Come on, Soto! Sir, he's right on top of us! Oh, my gosh. It's hard because now I feel like... <laughs> <gasps> Launch missiles. Torpedoes are ready, sir. No, we're in too close. Our weapons won't have time to arm. All ahead, flank. <sighs> Do you have any more of those flare things? Launch countermeasures. 150 yards and closing faster. Zero, seven, four. On four countermeasures. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Holy crap. Snapchat two and four. Two spiral electrically, sir. Oh my gosh. Who's did we launch missiles? I don't know. They're speaking a different language sometimes. 75 yards, weapons ready for me, sir. Off torpedoes two and four. Now, torpedoes arm, sir. <gasps> oh, we just battleshipped that so good. Take her deep. Oh gosh, I feel like that could not be good for anything. The, like motors and stuff. Yeah. <gasps> Shoot. <gasps> oh my gosh, is it on purpose? Nope. Oh, uh, all these. We're just free people. falling down. Yeah. Passing 1,500 feet. At 1850, it's all over. Come on, come on, come on, rudders. Oh my gosh. Because the pressure's so hard down there? I on? think so. Ah, take it easy. What do we do? They gotta fix something down in that room. I feel like we should send everybody down there. Yeah. It looks like three men are trapped. Try and get those men out of there as soon as you can and seal that bay. If we don't seal the bilge bay now, we'll lose the ship. Can you get the men out? God, no fucking way. If I go down there, I'll never get <gasps> They're going to have to seal it with them in there? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, to have to make that call. Seal at bay. I say again, seal at bay. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, 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 oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Holy crap! The water hatch is sealed! Very well. Approaching hull crush depth, sir. Come on, Rudder! No, it cannot end like this. It has to. It has to turn on. One, eight, two, five. Who, who can Try we... Maneuvering. Turbine power restored! <gasps> Come on! Come on! Come on! Higher! Go, 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 go! Get it up! Get it up! Get it up! Full, Holy crap! Take us up to periscope, yeah. <sighs> oh my gosh! <sighs> Holy cow, okay. And we still don't know what that message said. No, and we still don't know if the other submarine survived either, right? If right. they survived the attack. As quietly as you can, get to Mr. Zimmer and Mr. Westergaard. Gotta have Weps, he's the key. Weps is his friend. He's in command now. If they order him to launch, we'll launch. I won't blow him all to hell. He's lost his nerve. Bullshit! I know this guy, you Bobby. You've been ordered to launch. Now why in the world would we do that if they weren't prepared to launch at us? You don't know that for sure, that's the whole... Point. Yes. Think about your family, man. Oh. I am. I mean, what, do you, what do you plan to do? Nothing without you. You're a senior officer and department head. And you have the keys to the small arms locker. And we want to recruit a few more men. And then we're going to open up that... And what? This is a mutiny, Peter. <gasps> it's only two sides to a mutiny. Now your captain is asking for your help. What are you going to oh, do? Oh, come on. I want Denzel to go down and talk to the captain. Yeah. All right. Russian missiles will have launch capability in 24 minutes. Why can't we get that message? Oh, because the comm system's broken. Mm -hmm. It's not about getting high again. No. Oh my gosh. Are they oh insane? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Electricity. Maybe the comms will come back on. The systems are still down, so Lieutenant Zimmer isn't here. Send a man and find Zimmer. 
I start getting side on. Oh shoot, he knows. Turn around. <gasps> Sir. Thank you, Mr. Hitz. If we launch and we're wrong, what's left of Russia is gonna launch at us. There will be a nuclear holocaust beyond imagination. We have to know whether or not our order to launch has been recalled or not. The only way we're gonna know is if you fix that radio. You understand? I'm telling you, if you do not get this radio up, a billion people are gonna die. <gasps> Oh, come on, Vossler. I can't handle this. I hate contention. I this know. is the most contentious thing in the entire world. Relay that order. <gasps> this is insane. This is stupid. Sir, propulsion has been restored. All flooding has been contained. All communications are still down. Take them away. Are you guys kidding? Yeah, you're on a ship. Like, you're, you're going to fire these bullets? We're fighting each other. We're not supposed to fight each other. I feel the most disappointed in him. Me too. I'm actually angry at him. It's not something one would wish for. Uh... We have the obligation. <sighs> Indicated orders issued by our commander in chief. Spin up missiles one through five for strategic missile launch. The use of nuclear weapons has been authorized. Oh, come on. Guy. Come on, Vossler. Who's going to stop him? He could be right. you know. I get it, but he could be wrong. I see both sides. Mm. It's hard. It's so hard. It's an impossible. I also like him more, so I want him to be right. Oh, come on, come on, Soup. What are you doing down here? Jesus, it's just going to the bed. Ready. Nobody moves alone. Oh. oh. Mr. Rivetti, I'm impressed. I never liked him. <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah. Holy crap, holy crap, holy Come crap, on, Vossler. Come on, Vossler. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. It's all on Vossler. I he didn't get the message or not. Vossler. Russian missiles will have launch capability in 12 minutes. Webs. This is Hunter. Listen to me. You cannot proceed. We got other ships out there that can handle this. Now, you can't be influenced. Gotta make up your own mind. If we fire now, we'll be firing while we're blind and crippled. You understand me? Not open the safe, Webs. It's up to you. You're the only one that knows the combination. It's up to you, Webs. It's so much pressure for Find everyone. Your fight like, now. Radio Exo. Vossler? Are you calm? Yeah, sort of. Well, how much time do you need? <laughs> Missiles are ready for launch, sir. Weapons con. Remove the tactical firing. Webs. This is all the webs. Like, I can't even. The, the pressure. Yeah. Because if they're wrong, missiles hit the United States. No one is to touch this key. I'm going to launch from missile control. <gasps> Aye, sir. Oh my gosh. It is my duty to- Son, don't talk to me about duty. Open the f safe! <gasps> oh my gosh! One. And then you, he still can't open the safe, so what does that do? Two. It does me no good to kill you. You're the only exactly. one who knows the combination. <gasps> He's gonna shoot one of his men. Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh my gosh! What? He's gone insane. Sir! He's doing it? Oh, frick. You and Hunsick are gonna enter the con from the bow. Coming through, yeah, we're ready. You jump right on Zimmer, okay? Holy crap. I, yeah. I wish I had a heart rate monitor on. Like, it has not stopped this whole movie. This cannot be healthy. Initiate fire. Hey, hold it! Drop the weapon now! Move! Get his pistol! Number one did not fire, sir. Degree up of it. Mr. Link, let a man at periscope. Aye, uh, sir. Yeah, like he was saying, the submarines are not the only people in place to stop the right. nuclear weapons. There are other things. Con radio, sir, I think she's breathing. We're getting close. I have oh a my con. gosh. Give him a missile key. <gasps> what if we just shoot him in the foot or something? <gasps> I'm the commander of this ship! Russian missiles will have launch capability in seven minutes. Your Vosla, sir, she's breathing again. We are really, really close. Really, really close. Three minutes and counting. Yes, sir. You got three minutes. That's all he's wanted the whole time. Yeah. Speaking of horses, did you ever see those lippins on her stallions? Most highly trained horses in the world. They're all white. Yes, sir. Is he is he doing this? Right? I don't know. They're not from Portugal. They're from Spain. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. Yes. <gasps> there you go. There you go. Ah, oh, Yes. We're receiving flash traffic, emergency action message. God help you if you're wrong. You're all on the same side. If I'm wrong, then we're at war. And God help us all. Honestly, yeah. yeah. What does it say? They're not Are you kidding me? Delta, Sierra. He was Bravo, right. Zulu. Yeah. Denzel's Delta, right. Delta. This message is authentic, Captain. One MC. Crew of the Alabama. This is the captain. Second condition, 2SQ. Terminate launch. All missiles. <gasps> Holy <laughs> 
They would have killed a billion people. What? They would have killed a billion people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I oh, feel like webs. Ha oh, webs. He needed that. Yes. <gasps> Holy crap. I'm sorry that I hated you the most, webs. <gasps> I forgive you now. <laughs> I didn't really like his ways of going about things, but I understand that he Where he's coming from. In his totally. mind, he was 1,000 doing the right thing. Well, it's thing. hard, too, when he's never been in battle. Right. But if the other one's only ever been in battle, that's all right. he knows, so he can't assume that it wouldn't be. There were some sporadic battles, but apparently the specter of fighting their countrymen proved too much for these rebel troops, and they surrendered quickly. A nuclear base captured by Rodchenko is now back in government hands. Now, based on the testimony from personnel on board the Alabama, I am prepared to make my recommendations to SUBPAC. Without my testimony, sir? I have known Captain Ramsey for almost 30 years. If he is lying, this will be the first I've heard of it. You were both right, and you were also both wrong. Off the record, you've both created one hell of a mess. Violation of nuclear launch protocol. It is the conclusion of this panel that your actions aboard the Alabama were consistent with the best traditions of the Navy and in the interests of the United States. The recommendations of this panel will be Captain Ramsey's request for early retirement from active duty and based in no small part on Captain Ramsey's recommendation that Lieutenant Commander Hunter be given his next command at the earliest possible convenience. <sighs> Just want to say thank you. You were right and I was wrong about the horses, the Lippens Otters. They are from Spain, not Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. That was such high emotion that I feel <laughs> like it's just coming out. <laughs> oh, shoot, that smile. Since we're right to its primary authority and ability to fire nuclear weapon missiles will no longer rest with U.S. submarine commanders. Principal will reside with the President of the United States. Mm. So maybe he has power to do it so he can always be in comms, hopefully, right? All right. I like what they said, like... The problem is that they both thought they were right. They yeah. both thought they were following the mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. Their problem was with the system. Yeah. Well, yeah, because Ramsey wanted to launch because Denzel was still right on the way he did things and what he released him for command. Right. And the mutiny was wrong, but he's saying, we we have an order. Right. And we couldn't get the other one. So, like, technically that's right, but at the I same know. time you're like, but, you, but there was another order. And it... And why did they not make the first 10 letters on that letter that came through? <laughs> and then they got, they're like, the nuclear weapons. I'm yeah. like, no, it should say, Abort. cancel. <laughs> Abort. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Gotta lead with the <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I'm serious. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep for hours. That was intense. I loved it. I loved it too. I love yeah. suspense movies. Mm -hmm. And that was literally... Oh, suspense. that one made you like... Like I could feel the anger from both sides and the rightness. And I, I know. I get it. Like, it really made you like think and mm -hmm. empathize with yes, both. Uh -huh. But like... My thing in the end, oh. now that we're trying to prove who was right or wrong, right? right. Because... But like... When he thought back to like the overall war, Denzel was like, we're not the only ones in this, right? right. Like, we have people, they have people, like, right. we're not the only ones that are gonna fire. It's and so, a, and I mean, then mm -hmm. Ramsey's, his comeback was, what if the ship that was trying to destroy us destroyed the other ship, right? Right, right. But then again, it's like, no matter what, as soon as one is launched, yeah, it's a war is going to break yeah. out. So like, even if they got the first missile, then like they probably still would have launched another one somewhere right. else, right? Like so it's just which oh is I so can't even think of nuclear war and that's I just the thing. with like the tensions and I was like, oh I know yeah. it's that's it, it's mm, insane it's bad not okay I it's insane I don't it was it hit okay great movie great movie. great <gasps> acting I want to know, know how much is true like yes uh -huh. I really am interested mm -hmm. to to mm -hmm. read about like what was Hollywood yes and exaggerated mm -hmm. and yeah because like the double mutiny like oh shoot I know <laughs> um, oh my god yeah yeah Denzel did amazing wow 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 he's like so commanding I'm oh like, my gosh I know there's so many times too where I wanted to be like he's so attractive but I'm like it's not the time girl <laughs> it's is intense and I'm like dang Okay, um, I, I have this theory that the guy who I thought was Ed Harris, I could be really wrong. Ed Harris. The guy, Weps. Oh, yeah. I thought he was Ed Harris. In I think he might be Aragorn. I think that might be Viggo Mortensen. 
No. I feel like his voice was it. I don't, I Look have Look that to. up right now. I must know in real time. I kept wanting to say it, but I'm like, maybe that's the stupidest okay. thing. Also, Ramsey, the actor you knew. I, I can totally hardly type. I am like shaking. I've what totally seen him in other things, but I cannot peg down what it have is. You, you've never seen The Replacements? Oh, maybe I have. He's also the guy who sold, that was so sad about when they had to close those people in the hatch. Let's not talk about it or think about it. But oh. the one guy in there. It was him. No. It's it, Aragorn? Yes. Oh my God. He looked he was nothing blonde, like him. I was know. He? Yeah, he was blonde in there. Cheekbones though. What in the world? I knew from the, I like kept here. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, not as cool of a character in failing. But the one guy in there, I was like, hey, we know him. He's one of the shopkeepers and you've got mail. Yes. And he was also just in that terrible um, Reese Witherspoon and Ashton Kutcher movie, wasn't he? He was like the neighbor. Oh, the yeah. Neighbor. Yeah, the neighbor. <laughs> and Anyways. he's also... Um, I... Okay, sorry. We'll go back to yours. Good schooler. I cannot believe it's Aragorn. I'm, I'm looking for you what you would have known Gene Hackman from. And... I've know. definitely seen these things. So maybe it is a replacement. Is replacements for this guy? Oh, he was in the firm. With Tom Cruise that we watched. Oh, duh. Duh. The other bad lawyer. Yeah. The main bad lawyer. Oh man. Oh man. We're it's going to be this. tough to rewatch this. <laughs> and every comment's going to be like, uh, you saw him in the firm. We're like, oh, okay. Sorry, everyone. Comes We've together in you. the outro. Comes together in the outro. But Anyways, yeah, that was like. It was really good. I feel like I really love suspense movies. So yeah. what else and can also, we watch like that? Put it in the comments. I loved. Okay, it was like a war movie, but we didn't have to see like killing the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Which I know we need to see it because it happens, but that was easier on like. Yeah. Mm. On your heart. Uh -huh. And it was... Although when Ramsey got really close to killing that guy, I was about to lose my yeah. mind. Anyways. Okay. I'm really glad that in the end, Ramsey, like, mm -hmm. humbled himself yeah. and was like... Made the joke with him at the end with yeah. the horses. That's yeah. Good. And recommended him for, yes. like... Uh -huh. He didn't... Mm -hmm. That was really um, brave of him yeah. or... Like, I mean, to, to have To that, admit faults. Yes. And, and that amount of humility. Yeah. And to do it in a classy way, like... And he could have been like, I was wrong, but he still is the worst. Yes. But uh -huh. he didn't. He, he didn't. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. that was good. Yeah. Oh, that nice was good, that. guys. Okay. Dang. What else can we watch like that? Tell us in the comments. Thank you so much for watching along mm -hmm. with us. And uh, see you soon.